Are you going to put together my motorcycle? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> today <laughs> we are installing the rally raid suspension system Woo oh look who's here there's our mechanic hey how Sanf are you dude Sanford and son baby well, give me my money no man. I said no no I want my money I said, I said no pop now get out of here so we are here at Robin's mom's house where he has his garage and he's got every tool in the book you're not gonna believe it and uh, we are gonna install the Rally Raid front forks on my motorcycle to give me much better suspension for the crazy ride over the Rockies on stage three of the Trans America Trail. I went with the Rally Raid Level 1 fork upgrade and Level 1 rear shock for several reasons, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Ordering the parts was easy, relatively inexpensive, and only took a couple of weeks to arrive from their factory in England. Now just so you know, Rally Raid has some excellent installation videos on their website and instruction sheets that come with the parts, so I won't go into a ton of detail, but I will walk you through the general process of installing the forks as we do it. Just for reference, I would say I'm pretty average with a wrench at best. And that's part of why we brought in our buddy Robin to kind of oversee and make sure we didn't screw up. But you certainly don't need a fancy workshop like his. And I guess what I'm saying is, if I can do it, anyone can. It just takes a few hours and honestly, it isn't that hard if you just follow the step-by-step -step instructions. So basically the steps involve removing the front fender, brake caliper, and front wheel. Then undo the top triple fork pinch bolts, loosen the fork caps a couple of turns, and undo the lower pinch bolts. There's a fork! After removing the fork leg, clamp it in a vise and remove the bottom Allen bolt. Now I got socket ratchets that can do that. See, that's gonna be that's gonna be too tough. What size is that? Six millimeter. Hey guys, help us out by giving us a big thumbs up on this video, liking the channel, and subscribing. We would love to have you following us along on these adventures. All right, you can go there and let the oil run it out on you. Of course, a bunch of oil is going to come spewing out, so make sure you have a container to catch it in. Yeah. This thing going to go wing. <laughs> no, it should. It, it'll have a little pressure on it. I'm going to put this 
this end. So. Next, you're going to want to remove and discard the white plastic fork spacer yeah. and old spring. <laughs> That's how much empty room is in my shot. They could be used for a spring. <laughs> I think it's covered in grease and oil. <laughs> yeah. Good. It's like a science experiment. Bill Nye, the science guy. Yes! is a water cycle simulator. So let's say we start right here, where, where water is a liquid. It's like the ocean. Old new. Also remove, but keep the damper rod and short top outspring. The reason for that is you'll want to install the old split seal and top out spring onto your new tamper rod. Looks like it's the closest one. Insert the new damper rod and new fork spring into the tube. Then refit the Allen bolt onto the bottom of the fork. Now remove the spring and add 150 millimeters of 10 weight fork oil. Pour all of that dinosaur blood in there. I personally just used the original Honda fork oil Work the fork up and down a few times to remove any air bubbles. Yep. Now drop in the new damper piston assembly and add the little metal spacer. Now you're going to want to work the fork up and down a few more times to remove any more trapped air. Insert the little gray plastic liner and reinsert the fork spring. If you're adding a preload adjuster cap, screw that in place. Cool. But if not, just return the original fork cap. Now all you have to do is reinstall the fork to the triple clamp in reverse order. Oh no, that's no, recording. And of course remember to do the other one as well. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Good, we'll find out. <laughs> Rally Raid really has been responsive and helpful throughout the process. Their product is top notch, and my only regret with this purchase is that I didn't do it sooner. Now refit the front wheel, brakes, and fender, and you're pretty much ready to roll. I hope this helps give you an overview of the process and removes any fear or doubt you might have about doing it yourself. Now get out there and enjoy your new bike. We didn't forget something. <laughs>this new rally raid suspension system is incredible i want to tell you i am been i've been super pleased trinity's sitting here waiting for me to get back on the road but uh after installing the rally raid system i took a highway to get to the francis marion forest and uh the road riding i mean on the pavement is so much smoother the jitteriness of the original stock shocks is gone uh, the bike just feels so much more smooth and sure of itself. Uh, every little crevice and, and, and uh, pothole that I used to hit and cringe and grip with, with the death grip, I don't have to do that anymore. It just sort of floats. And the rebound, I mean, it doesn't bounce or anything like that. It's just like, boom, 
and it's gone. It's so cool. I'm, I'm really, really impressed with this new uh, rally rate suspension system. So that's one big benefit is it's vastly increased the uh, uh, sureness and the capability and the comfort of the motorcycle on pavement. Uh, Off-road, here we are out in the Francis Marion Forest. This place is unbelievable. Tons of great riding out here. And I can tell already the suspension is incredible. Uh, hit quite a few potholes or bumps and rocks and things like that uh, today. And it's just soaking them up the bike feels so much more secure in the past with the stock oem uh, suspension um, it felt really jittery and chintzy and uh, you'd go over a bump or hit a pothole and you'd get this and you'd tighten up your grip you know and get uh bare knuckling it and now it's like you hit a hole or a or a bump or a rock and it just go keeps on going it feels so sure of itself and confident Big improvement, I'm very, very impressed. Now you saw during the video, of course, I took out the little six inch spacer that's in the uh, stock suspension. So that does help, of course, give it uh, quite a bit more um, spring action, more suspension to work with. But this is definitely the Rally Raid level one kit. Um, the level two kit is much better for off-road. So if you really are, are designing your bike around doing more rough and tough off-road stuff, then I would definitely consider the, the level two kit but it's a much more involved process. It's more expensive. And of course you have larger wheels, you have all kinds of other components involved. If you just want a simple, easy way to upgrade your suspension on your motorcycle for relatively inexpensive, um, I think I spent about 800 bucks for both front and rear rally raid system. And uh, I would have to tell you that this is money well spent. Um, definitely changes the feel of the motorcycle, makes it, makes it a much better uh, handling motorcycle, uh, both on and off-road. Not gonna get you to that big off-road capabilities of a level two kit, which has even higher two more inches of suspension, but um, very, very capable level one kit. So I hope you like this video. That is my impressions of the new Rally Raid front fork and rear suspension on the CB500X level one kit. Um, I'm over the moon, I love it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We've got lots more fun stuff coming, and I will see you in the next one.